Hey yo, what's the deal? So Game of Thrones season five trailer has finally been released to tease. So let's talk about this month. Teflon TV. Teflon, Teflon TV. What up, what up, what up, my people? You know who it is. It's the Don. Tony Teflon. House Teflon. We pull the string. It's the Don. Tony Teflon. House Teflon. We pull the string. All right. So the trailer has been released, and you know, I, I, I don't like to come right out and just jump on these things because you know the first one was bootleg the copy that i seen was bootleg like a leg, leg, leg you know and grainy so i had to wait till i seen the official hd one to really get a grasp of what the fuck was going up on in there you know what i mean so now i have seen it and everything else and i know i've seen other reviews and i've seen people out there and they so excited and jumping for joy and game of thrones released the trailer relax first what is a trailer? You know, a trailer is the best clips of the season. So let's look at it for that. These are the best clips, right? That's what they usually put in the trailer to get you want going. Listen, I'm a dime, man. You're not impressing me. No one's impressing me with a trailer. I need to see the full season. Because last year, and just remember, last year, the Storm of Swords, 85% of the people will say that those books right there, that book was the best book in all these series, right? So, with that being said, if that's what they wound up with last season and that was the best book, I'm going to have to reserve my uh, excitement from seeing some girl whip a, whip a guy's helmet off. You know, that... that, that that, that's not going to get me going so great. Or seeing some green dragon shoot fire at the end. You know, that that's not enough for the Don. Maybe that's enough for you. And not enough. And I love this show. Don't get me wrong. I love A Song of Ice and Fire, the book series. And, you know, so, but I'm the, the show people have made me have to reserve judgment. Now, they have the cast and they have the crew to get the job done. And I believe they can and hopefully will. And I really hope they do. And George R. R. Martin has said that they are not releasing the Winds of Winter this year. Which, if you watched a video I did, I think a couple of years ago or a year ago, I told you he wasn't releasing it this year. And for the same reason he said, he's not competing with himself. And that's the bottom line. He's got other stuff coming out. So he's got the Dunkin' Egg stuff coming out. So he's not doing that. So what what do we really see in this trailer? And what does it mean? And this is all spoilery stuff. If so, if you haven't read the books or anything, don't watch this. You know what I mean? Because this is going into the book stuff. And if you don't want to be spoiled, because I'm going to go into what the, What does this trailer really mean? What does it really mean? I'm going to tell you what it really means for the books, all right? But first, what do we see in this trailer? We see, here we go. Here's the breakdown. You ready? Because this is all it takes. Here you go. Time was dead. Sansa, Sansa, little finger. Uh, whipping a man's helmet off. Uh, Cersei cutting her finger. So that's some uh, so, uh, Maggie the Frog stuff. So that's very good. Marjorie married to Tommen, which is, uh, you know, so now we know she's married to Tommen. That, what does that really mean? Rattle shirt leading the wildlings, which is, I have no idea what the hell's going on there, what, what that means. So I'm not even going to speculate. Varys and Tyrion, you see him arrive. So what does that mean? Does it mean that no more Illyrio? They're going to take Illyrio out and give uh, Varys parts to Illyrio? Or are we going to see Illyrio? Uh, we don't know right there. You see Stannis at the war with Mel. You see the burning possibly. Uh, it could be leading uh, leading up to the burning of Rattleshirt. I'm sure that's what it's going to do up there. Uh, Danny, break. Danny, break the wheel. Oh, what does it mean, break the wheel? Well, the wheel is round. So if the wheel is round and it keeps going around, she's going to break the shit that's been going around for a long time. At least try to. You see Jor in the pit. We see Jamie in the place. He ain't supposed to be doing some shit he ain't supposed to be doing. Uh, we see Arya at the door, black and white, which is great. And then we see green dragon so that's basically what you see in, in this trailer right and you know listen they know what buttons to push they know you want to see Arya at the house of black and white and just seeing the door is enough to get people going that's what happened they ain't really show it doing nothing they so it standing at a door I'm not getting excited seeing this chick standing at a door and pulling needle out i seen her with needle before show me something you know what I mean? You got you got to show show me something, man. I just don't do it for me. You got Jamie. Jamie just where, where is he at? What does it mean? I'm gonna tell you what this means for the books right now. All right, this is what all this shit means. 
It means that Aegon don't mean shit. It means if they do not cast Victoria on Greyjoy or, or any Greyjoy, you are on Greyjoy, they don't mean shit. It means if they do not cast Lady Stoneheart and they had a person in her spot so it wouldn't have cost them any money, it means that whole storyline don't mean shit. It, and when I say don't mean shit, I mean don't mean shit for the overall end game of the story of the arc. It's good side stories, but in the end game, it don't mean shit. It means that the whole plan with Illyrio and uh, don't mean shit. Because it means it all boils down to the people they have on screen. Danny and Jon Snow. So all and Stannis Baratheon who happens to be around. So all that other stuff that's there, the other things that there means to me, when I'm seeing this in the show, it would be in the show if it really was that important. You know what I mean? So no matter what happens, no matter if Aegon comes and he takes Storm's End, it don't mean shit in the overall arc because he's going to get his ass killed or defeated because it ain't going to matter because he'd be in the show. So it means that if Lady Stoneheart is there and she's got Brienne and Jamie and they fight, it means whatever happens at the end of that, if Lady Stoneheart somehow does something and kills someone, and maybe she could, but I doubt it because she ain't in it. Or they would have put her ass in the show because it would have been significant if she killed Jamie or Brienne and they got them cast so Lady Stoneheart would be there. But that ain't going to happen because she ain't in the show. So that's what that fucking means. All right. So when you look at the overall arc of the show, you can see it's going to end with Danny and John because that's who it is. So it's obvious that John is... Rhaegar's son. It means John is Azura High. That is why it is going down like that, people. Pretty obvious to John. So I hope it's obvious to you now, too, that this is exactly what's going on. So anyone then that's showing in the show doesn't really matter. So all that Dark Star shit, if they don't show no Dark Star, which I don't think you're going to see that whole plot line, it's good filler. But for the overall arc of the show, for the who's going to sit the Iron Throne, don't mean shit. That's what that trailer shows me, man. And I hope that's what it shows you. So all book fans and people who, are, who don't like to be spoiled, that should have spoiled the fuck out of you. Because that's not, not what really matters. What matters is what they're showing. They're showing Maggie the Frog and Cersei. That matters. That's why it's in there. They can't leave that out. They're not going to leave out stuff that is so important to the book or the ending of the book. Because the bottom line is this. For at least a year, I'm telling you, they have been resigned to the fact that George R. R. Martin, or probably longer, that he ain't getting these books out before this series is ending. So they know exactly how it has to end. And they know exactly what they have to do to get the pieces in place for it to end before he finishes the book. So no matter whatever now, no matter they stop at a certain spot before he finishes the book and then they do a couple of movies when he does finish the book, it's quite possible. But I do believe they know exactly what it needs and what needs to be in place even for him to finish the books. And if Aegon and them were that important and they were going to come and take the throne from Danny and these people, they would be in the show right now. But they ain't. Is Tony on Greyjoy? Don't see him. Don't see you on Greyjoy. They should be there. So, again, besides that, what do you think the show is going to end? Where do I think this season is going to end? I think we got to end with Danny flying away on the dragon. I think we're going to see that. That will probably be the end of the season. And I think we're probably going to get... Now, this is always, like I said, spoilers. So, you don't want to know. You shouldn't be watching. But uh, I think you're going to have to... John's got to die. I think he's going to get stabbed up. It may even happen before. I mean, it's going to get stabbed up. You see the wildlings going down. It may be that Stannis takes the wildlings with him already. And, or you have, they already had one time Ramsey doing some crazy shit, sending someone to the wall. Maybe they send more people to the wall, Ramsey and them, and that's what the wildlings are fighting with John. Maybe it's some shit like that. Or if they have John already fighting with Stannis and he leaves the wall with the, with the wildlings, 
And we already know what happened with that pink ladder. It's pretty obvious that Stanton's definitely wrote it, like I said. But I don't know. I think we should get the pink ladder or something like that. But we're definitely going to get probably the execution of Mance. But I think it ends with Jon Snow being stabbed up some. <laughs> ah, that's the way it go so yo that's what it means to me so people who get i'm sorry i wish i could just be up here and just be all like all these other people and this <laughs> but that ain't the dime baby and that ain't real and that's who I have to be. So until then, so if you like this, please subscribe. Tell your friends, you know, thumbs this motherfucker up. Let's get this house rising, baby. Let's do what we got to do to make this go up. You know what I mean? So put your comments down and subscribe. And I'm going to drop a couple of quick hit videos this weekend. I think about three of them. You know what I mean? On a couple of things people have asked me. And one of them is why Melisandre bleeds. And I'm going to put all that up. So don't leave that in the comments here if you got it. If you got a theory about it, wait till I do the video and leave it on that. All right? Leave the comments about this video or that, and I'll do a Q&A and all that. So until next time, peace! And stay sexy. Tony Teflon, Tony, Tony Teflon, Tony Teflon, Tony Teflon, Tony, Tony Teflon, Teflon 316. Peace! And I'm out. Stay sexy.